What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So this is my update video on the Poco X3 Pro after one year. Well, not exactly one year. Um, binili ko to last Feb or March ata. So yun, mag one year na to sa akin. So I just wanted to give an update video on this and my hinanakit dito sa Poco X3 Pro. So first off, for those of you who don't know, the Poco X3 Pro is an insane value budget smartphone for just a little over $200 or 10,000 Philippine pesos actually right now is $12,990. And basically, this is a mid-range smartphone. At least that's what I would describe this as. Hindi pala ako sure kung gusto kong itaglish tong video na to or English lang. I'm not sure. I'm currently going through a crisis if I'm going to be speaking in English or Tagalog taglish in my uh, review videos or my videos in general. Of course, yung mga vlog style na videos, eh, Tagalog pa din yun. Pero yan, basically, this is a mid-range smartphone for gamers. As in, sobrang performance focus neto. If you want to mainly game on your Android smartphone and you don't want to spend a ton of money, then this is definitely your choice. So just a quick refresher sa specs ng uh, Poco X3 Pro. So we have a Snapdragon 860, 6 gigs of uh, memory, 128 gigs of storage in this um, in this like base configuration. You can also buy this with 8 gigs of memory and 256 gigs of storage, which for me isn't worth it if you're spending uh, 15,000 pesos or around $300 for that. So just an update on the cosmetics of this after one year. Um, dahil sa katangahan ko is uh, there's a small dent here. Yeah, hopefully you can see that on cam. A small scuff. I'm not sure if this is a scuff, a scratch, or a crack. Uh, like a small crack in the glass itself. But there you have it. Also a small crack here on the plastic uh, right by the power button slash fingerprint scanner. But yeah, overall cosmetics wise, it's held up quite good. Uh, considering I was using this with a case. Which I recommend you do too if you have a Poco X3 Pro if you've just bought one. Uh, since this uh, glossy middle part at the back will scratch easily. So yeah, the back is plastic. We have Corning Gorilla Glass 6 at the front. And yeah, for a mid-range smartphone regarding design and build quality, I'm not complaining. So pagdating naman sa performance neto, like when it comes to playing games, just browsing through the UI, of course, this is gonna feel real smooth with that 120Hz display. So this has a 6.67 inch 1080p 120Hz display, so it's real freaking good. And just to show you performance real quick, I'm gonna be running Genshin Impact. Uh, just to show you. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my issue, yung mga hinanakit ko nga dito sa um, Poco X3 Pro I got by the end of this video. So the game loads up real quick with that UFS 3.1 storage and the current graphic preset is set to high at 60fps with motion blur turned off. Since you guys know, I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that shit. And of course... Yeah, with dual stereo speakers, the Poco X3 Pro is an excellent media consumption device. Of course, again, great for gaming. It can handle even the most graphically intensive games in the Play Store right now, including Ark Survival Evolved, which actually I don't have installed right now. And just to let you guys know, the Poco X3 Pro still doesn't overheat even after a year of using it. So as you can see, performance is still great. Uh, opening, closing apps. Again, just browsing through the UI plus paired with a 120Hz display. It's a real freaking buttery smooth experience. And when it comes to battery life, so this has a 5000mAh battery with 33 watts of fast charging supported. And uh, I'm still getting my 6.5 hours of screen on time. Uh, sometimes even more depending on what I'm doing. So I'm a medium to heavy user. So that's a combination of social media, YouTube, some gaming and picture taking. And yeah, 6 plus hours of screen on time, real solid for a 5000 mAh battery. Also with a powerful CPU and GPU. Now when it comes to the camera of the Poco X3 Pro, there's really no changes, which is a good thing and not a bad thing actually. So it's still a solid performer for a mid-range smartphone. Of course, you can shoot 4K videos with this uh, 4K 30fps. And of course, you have a ton of different modes which you can choose from. So I think I didn't forget anything else. So now we're moving on to the like bad part of the Poco X3 Pro after one year now. In the beginning, um, in the beginning, and it's Biblia. So when I first bought this, made my review of it, and then made an update video after three months, it's really good. Like pretty much no flaws, but after a while, 
Uh, I'm not sure if it's with MIUI like with their recent update of this. So currently I am at uh, MIUI 12.5.7 and now my main problem with the POCO X3 Pro is optimization and compatibility with certain apps. Mainly uh, with my experience with Messenger, uh, TikTok, and the Lazada app. Yeah, this app to those of you who aren't familiar who are not in Asia, who's watching this video right now. In Messenger, half of the time that I'm using it, um, the conversations won't load. I won't be able to send pictures or my messages and replies. Like legit, there are times where I think that the Wi-Fi card of the Poco X3 Pro is not working, but I've actually tried it with YouTube. The same time that Messenger isn't working and yeah, YouTube is still working. I can still watch videos fine, watch Twitch uh, live streams without buffering, without having problems with the internet. In TikTok, pretty much the same as with Messenger. Uh, the times that I would think that the Wi-Fi card of the Poco X3 Pro is not working. And yes, I've tried it at the same time. Uh, I open up YouTube, Twitch, and no problems with watching videos, um, streaming. So yeah, in my experience, those are the three apps I'm having trouble with uh, here with the Poco X3 Pro. So again, Messenger, TikTok, and Lazada. And yes, I can confirm that I think it's a problem with MIUI. I'm not sure what it is specifically, but uh, when I had this repaired and I was using the Realme C3, like I didn't have those problems with Messenger, TikTok, Lazada, and uh, it works flawlessly, the Realme C3 with the apps that I was using. So hopefully this is something that Xiaomi Poco can fix through a software update, but I think that won't happen anytime soon since uh, MIUI 13 is just launching with these specific smartphones. And yeah, the one major issue that I've had with my specific unit, the Poco X3 Pro, is a dead charging port. Like one day, waking up, I plug it in and it just won't charge. And good thing, this is still under a warranty when that happened. And the repair process was not that long. It took just a couple of days and yeah, it was fixed after that. And if you did just buy your own Poco X3 Pro, of course, you're hoping that you won't face into the problems that I'm facing. So yeah, other than that, the Poco X3 Pro is still a great smartphone, uh, especially for the price. And in terms with optimization and compatibility with certain apps, I didn't have any problems with any game, just those uh, specific apps that I'm using. So that's again, uh, Messenger, TikTok, and Lazada. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, yeah, most likely this is also having optimization and compatibility issues with other apps that I'm not aware of. And also if you guys are having problems with your Poco X3 Pro that I didn't uh, mention in this video, then uh, leave it in the comments. So it's particularly annoying for me with the Messenger thing since that's the main app that I use when uh, communicating, calling my relatives and such, sending some updates, some important shit, so... Yeah. So right now when it comes to optimizing performance on the Poco X3 Pro, it's great with MIUI. Again, my only problem is with the optimization and compatibility with certain apps, which hopefully Poco Xiaomi can fix through a software update hopefully soon. But yeah, for the price of the Poco X3 Pro, this is still a great buy, especially if you're just into games, you want the best performance in a smartphone for under $300 or 15,000 Philippine pesos, then this is your pick. I can still easily recommend it maybe to those who are using Messenger, TikTok. Um, this might be a bit of a gamble for you and I guess I wouldn't recommend this to you and I would suggest you to look elsewhere if you're just gonna use this for those specific apps that I'm having trouble with. But of course, if you guys want to buy this, kung gusto nyo tong bilin ngayon, uh, easily recommended pa din to. Um, I'll leave the links in the description and hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Of course, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Consider subscribing if you like my content and of course, turn on notifications so you'll be updated on my latest videos. As always, stay safe mga kuya. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Still got a cheddar